Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can create sick AI CGI effects using one free AI website. Let's go. What's up guys, my name is Evan Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create sick music video visual effects using only AI. It's not too late, guys. I know you've been seeing these videos all across the internet. AI this, AI that, is the world ending? Elon Musk. But don't worry, the world's not ending, at least, not yet because we still have to make these AI visual effects. Today we're gonna to be using Premiere Pro and the AI video generation website, runway.com. This website is completely free for your first 30 seconds of video. And then after that, they have a couple paid plans, but it's a really great video generation. And given a music video, it's like two to three minutes length. You're only gonna really need 30 seconds of visual effects anyways. So you might as well use the free child version. There are absolutely no plugins at all required today. It's gonna be a very simple, straight tutorial. Make sure you have good Wi-Fi. But before we hop into the tutorial, if you guys could really check out 11%.net, I really dump all my time and effort into creating preset packs for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Lightroom, all the Adobe Suite to just help speed up your editing workflow and allow you to create greater visual effects. We have preset packs ranging from title cards all the way to artificial camera shakes. So really, if you could check it out, it'd really mean the world. And if you use this promo code, you can get an exclusive 40% off any of your first purchases. It's on the house, guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so now that we are finally inside of Premiere Pro, the first thing you're gonna do is have your clip loaded up here. And now we are going to download this clip. So you can just go ahead, export this one little clip right here. And then we are going to immediately go hop into Chrome. When you hear that in a Premiere Pro tutorial, we're going to go to this website right here. We are going, we're going to go to this website right here. It is called app.runway.ml.com. Just go search it up. Link is right here in the description. Now this website is absolutely insane. It is probably one of the best AI video generation websites that I've come across so far. It serves as a video editor, a video generator, an image generator. It just has everything pretty much all within it, all AI. It's really, really fun to use. But what's really cool is that they have so many different magic tools. Now what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using the video to video generation right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this video to video generation. You're gonna go ahead and upload your video file right here. I already have my clip uploaded right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one. Now, once you have your video down, Downloaded. there's so many different options that you can do with the style make sure your video plays out now if you come over here to our style reference and we have a bunch of different options we have image presets and prompt now image is basically when you upload an image and then we convert this video into that image I'll show you that in a bit shortly presets are a bunch of different presets that runway.com has already made for us and they can just convert our video into that style so you can see they have like Android claymation cloudscape the claymation one is really good by the way awesome storyboard there's just a bunch of them you can just go ahead and mess around with and lastly finally probably one of the most famous ones you've seen so far is the prompt one and this is basically where you type out whatever like empire fire smoke background and you just type it up and then it just like converts the video and that's also probably one of the most impressive ones today in this tutorial we are simply going to just be using the image and presets prompt one i kind of have luck sometimes no luck with it so you can go ahead and mess around with that on your own time but it's really really simple the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off with the preset now i really really like and i really dig this ink animation right here what you're going to do is you're just simply going to select it and you can select your style strength depending on your video style strength basically just enables how much of your video is going to be converted into that style and how much it's going to retain of the original video um, and then we're just going to you know choose a random seed and then once you're done hit generate video now it's going to take a little couple seconds to render i'd add that runway.com is free but it does only have a 30 second limit I believe on how much video you can generate so it's gonna generate our video right here and it's just gonna take a couple while it might take like a minute or two depending on how long your video is you are only gonna have 30 seconds of video available but if you're editing like for say a full-scale music video that's like three two minutes maybe then I would say 30 seconds is enough like visual effects components because remember you don't want to overflow your music videos with visual effects but really it's just a great way to just go ahead and add some visual effects to it so we're just gonna go ahead and speed this up once your video is done downloading, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next effect clip. Right now, we're gonna use the image generation right here. Next, we're gonna use the image generation style reference. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna create like our subject right here and I wanna make them like a fiery monster. So to do so, I just went to Google and I searched fire monster images and voila, we have a nice like monster fire image. So I just went ahead and downloaded this image and you're gonna go ahead over here, click upload in your video image assets and you can just go ahead and search for your image so I'm just gonna select this image and upload it there 
And then once you have your image uploaded, you're just gonna go ahead and select the image, adjust your style strength, and just go ahead and click generate video. It's gonna go ahead and load again, but once again, we're gonna speed this segment up. Now, once you have all your clips ready and loaded, you're just gonna go ahead and download these. And you can see we have a nice like ink animation going on right here. It looks really dope and sick. We can go ahead and now add this to Premiere Pro. All right guys, so now that we are finally inside of Premiere Pro, I have my clips loaded in right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and just drag them in, scale them up maybe a bit and voila, there we go. One thing I did notice is that I've kind of had some issues with runway.com like messing with the length of the video. The frame rates kind of comes off a little bit choppy but that's just because of the free plan that we're on. To do this, I'm simply going to right click it, go to speed duration and then I'm just going to adjust the speed to about like 110 and voila there we go now we have like a kind of similar clip length now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a couple effects the first effect I'm going to add to this ink layer is going to be an invert effect then the next effect that I'm going to be adding is a threshold effect now simply come over here click the blend mode and then just change this to linear dodge add and really reminds me of all those hand-drawn animation effects I don't know if you guys remember back in like 2018 those dance videos are really popping off with the glow hand-drawn effects. Boy, if they had AI back then, they would have really been killing it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my fire clip as well. Now this clip really came out nice. I love how this is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the speed to about 110 again. Voila, look at that. We got this like sick demon monster. But one last thing is missing. I would like to have my subject right here masked out and like rotoscoped. But because we're in Premiere Pro and I'm keeping this strictly a Premiere Pro tutorial, how are we gonna rotoscope? Well, guess what? Going back to runwayml.com again, they have a remove background tool. Now this, this app just, I'm telling you, it really gets cooler the more and more you look, you get into it. I selected the green screen beta tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this clip to our timeline. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see that it's going to have like a little rotoscope. You're simply going to select points of your subject right here. I'm just going to select it and it's runway is just gonna take a few minutes to load. If it misses a couple areas, you can just go ahead and add some points right there and voila, there we go. Now we have our full sub subject selected. And if we just go ahead and drag along the timeline, you can see that runway is going to be updating the rotoscope mask. Once you're done masking, you can go ahead and just simply hit done masking. And then you'll see there'll be a green background added right here. You can go ahead and change that solid color to whatever you like, depending on what your footage is like and then you'll see that we have our nice entirely rotoscoped out with a green screen background once you're done just hit export and download it and now we have a nicely fully green screen rotoscope version of our subject clip i'm just going to add a simple ultra key effect to this right here and then i'm just going to select the green to remove it and voila there we go we have our subject removed i'm going to go ahead and trim this down just select all the layers in my first segment of my clip and nest it i'm going to create a new adjustment layer hit ok Okay, and I'm just gonna drag this right over here in between the two frames. Add some shake animations just to spice this thing up. So I'm actually gonna use the 11% shake preset pack. By the way, if you guys don't have this preset pack, it's absolutely insane. It's really fun to use. There's so many different shake presets right here. I can simply just go ahead and drag and drop it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this shake zoom flash right here and apply it to my adjustment layer and voila, there we go. You see we have some sick effects going on right here with the AI and the fire. Just nest this entire selection right here and then I'm gonna apply a shake zoom out effect and this first clip right here I might just go ahead and add some heavy shake as well and voila there we go we have some sick shakes and if you guys don't have this pack you can go ahead and cop it right here at 11%.net really guys I dump my heart and soul into creating ultimate crazy preset packs to just help speed up your editing workflow I create all these presets they're all pre custom made and as you can see we simply just drag and drop to our footage right here I'm not gonna lie they're probably the cheapest preset out there on the market with some of the best quality out there you could really go to 11%.net and check them out and if you use this promo code right here you will get an exclusive 40% off your first purchase completely on us guys really it just means the world if you guys could support us through that and with that guys here is the final result guys made it to the end of the video thank you again so much for watching really it means the world to me if you found this video any bit helpful or interesting please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe it's free all this content is free so it really mean a lot if you guys could and once again if you really want to cop the shake it up preset pack that we use for this effect you can go to 11percent.net remember to use this promo code for an exclusive 40 percent off any of your first purchases seriously i put a lot of time and effort into really making packs that will just help speed up your editing workflow and allow you to make better visual effects so any of you guys 
support really means a lot to me. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what tutorial you want to see from us next, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.